Hey everybody, it's Favaz. We are here with two former Blues players that knew the old arena very well, Rick Zombo and Perry Turnbull. Let's hear it for them. Rick, you were traded from Detroit, so you knew the old barn as a visiting player. What was that like? You know, the Saints go marching in was a very tough song to listen to that knew that they were running up the scoreboard on us, and you never wanted to hear that one. And then you got traded to the Blues, and I'm sure it was a much more pleasurable experience. Yeah, it was a lot of fun because, you know, the fans were always hanging out. That, that bar just behind the arena would spill over because they wouldn't get enough people in there. And in the, in the springtime when the playoffs came around, everybody is hammered, waiting for you to come to the rink. It was fun. Hammered and waiting for you. Here's Perry Turnbull. Now, I remember Perry Turnbull scoring four goals in one game at the arena. Do you remember that night? No, it was so long ago. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a great night. Uh, I think it was the first chance I had to play with Mr. Federko. Sutter was out that night, and they filled in, and I, I don't think I got that chance again. Brian was right back the next night. So did Bernie assist on all your goals? I, th I believe he did. We'd have to go back to the record book. Any other special memories from the old barn, Perry? I, I mean, they were all special. Every time you came out, uh, hair would stand up on the back of your neck, and the people would cheer, and couldn't wait to get out there, get your first hit in, and get a shot on goal. Right. Here's number nine and number four, Perry Turnbull and Rick Zombo of the St. Louis Blues, everybody.